today is very interesting. We've always liked the idea of going to like a Comic-Con or things of that nature, but since they're so large and they can be kind of expensive and we don't know a whole lot about them, they intimidate us. Yeah. It's a little scary for us. Um, but we thought this would be a great opportunity to come out and just see on a very small scale. This isn't even a Comic-Con. It's more of like a collection of local businesses getting together convention yeah and there's a couple local stores in citrus county that we have gone to that have some really neat collections that have passed us little like cards that said on october 8th one day only it's their first ever little convention um i think they said it's going to cost like five dollars a piece to get in and they're going to have some different like vendors in there with I, there should be some funkos that's really why I'm here is to check out the Funkos. Collectibles, Collectibles comics. comics. And um, should be able to walk around and see what they have. Have no idea what this is gonna be like. Have no idea how big it's gonna be. Might be huge, might be there's small. There's quite a few cars here though, so it looks like a good turnout. Yeah, and I know there's gonna be some different artists that are doing autographs, which I don't know anything about, so I'm sorry if other people may know who they are, but I really don't. I think they're like, like cartoonists and we're more there for the for the Funkos and the toys. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna go see what this is like. Let's go check it out. They've got a food truck out here, Tropical Tarpon, and another view of the parking lot. Pretty big parking lot. And then up here it shows the entrance, comic book and toy show today, right this way. And if you look, it's just today. So the Citrus Comic Toy and Anime Festival, children 12 and under free. And also with the sign here, there's two sponsors, Twice Upon a Toy, which is in Crystal River, and Pop Culture Rama, which is in Lakanto. We've been to both of those stores and they're really cool. And if we head in this way, you can see, here's where you pay $5 a person. So you get the wristband here and then they give you these bags. I'm not sure what's in here. We'll have to check what's in this bag. You've got a panel room. 11 a.m. How to make comics. 12:15 Clean, press, and grade comics. I don't know what's in here. What all is in here? Just uh, are they all the same? Whoa! What'd you get? Oh, what did I get? Tub activity. Nice. And then here's College of Central Florida. You can get a cup, pens learn more information about it. Restrooms it shows are this way. Look at the designs on this office. And I guess we're gonna be heading right over this way maybe. You can see they've got this Merlin looking guy and then Gremlin. And then some toys and comics setting out right here as well. Now if we head in the main room, you can kind of see it's just a smaller venue, but they have quite a bit of for a small venue, several booths actually up here. They've got some autographs you can get and things of that nature. A lot of Funko Pops, which is why we are here today. Got some Breaking Bad Funkos. New Girl, that's hilarious. Love that show. Anastasia. Over here we have the Disney World 50th Castle with Mickey. So we just kind of walked around here. They had comics over there, some like kids toys, some more Funkos over there, some comics there, some comics behind us. And this store right here is one of our favorites. It's one of the sponsors. This is Twice Upon a Toy, which has some of the most unique Funkos I've ever seen in my life. Like look at this Breaking Bad one here. It's unreal. They've got all of the friends, like there's Ross, there's Rachel Green, there's Monica, Phoebe, all of them. And over here you have all of these Anchorman ones. Look at all of these ones too. I'm telling you, this location, which is in Crystal River, has some really, really amazing Funkos here. And then here's a few more over on this side. Got a very good collection. The Grady Twins. I think he said that was $75 and each each of them are different priced he has a little like iPad that he can tell you what the price is on each of them 
right over here it looks like there's a pretty good Funko collection we'll hit up. We don't really dig into comics because we don't know a whole lot about them, but there is a fair share of comics here. Over here they have a Stan Lee. Also there's a Turbo Man. Eve. Here's just a view of some of the comics they have over here. They have a couple inside of a case and then all of these that are in alphabetical order. We're going to stop over here and look in this little Funko section as well. They do have a couple Lord of the Rings ones over here, but I already have Samwise. Got that at the bookstore in Mount Dora. I did also see a couple Stranger Things, like there's Robin. Mike's over at the end. Some E.T. Of course, all of these bags. And most of the toys and stuff are all different. So just to, you got to kind of look through everything to see if there's anything you like. Grady twins over there. Look at that. And then Lord of the Rings right there. I don't know enough about who's here signing autographs. Um, but there are some people that have done a few things. Like maybe comic, comic books, books writers. Yeah. Artists, like things like that just this little room here but for their first ever one i feel like it's actually not too bad i think each year it'll keep growing but at least we have documentation of what it looked like year one you can see this is the lap we did we started here and walked all the way around here they do have kind of a middle section with comics um a lot of comics if you're a comic fan this would be the place to go and they have star wars music playing too which makes it kind of cool over here though holy smokes look at these lord of the ring packs wow 65 dollars for a full lord of the ring pack there all of these are lord of the rings that is pretty amazing then some more comics a few more action figures toys got a pirates what's that wow what's the front look is it that's pretty neat You can see this is all the autograph section again. So you can kind of walk by and see what all they've done. It's pretty cool. A couple more Funkos here on the end. Shows There's a cartoonist right there. This middle section, we really didn't go down, so let's do that. But you can see there's a ton of comics right here. There's some collector card sets. Some more Funkos over here in the back some more toys you see all of the graded comics they've got them all graded in there they have some things over here it's like some coloring pages Just some more advertisements they got some buttons have to look at those oh and apparently we got buttons and stuff in here so we'll have to pull out the stuff and see what we got and then that takes you back around here to like the front we came in this way there's the food truck we came in this way and went through those doors there. They make these little, I remember making those little, I don't know what they're called, but yeah, doing that as a kid. Those are pretty cool. There's some bubble tea and drinks. And then heading back out here to where we came in. Now the cool thing is it seems like you can re-enter having the wristband. Yeah, I would say so. It's and, a one day only event this yeah. year first one they've ever done yeah um let's see what all we did get in here because i didn't get a chance to really open it and look through it here's the stuff we got so this is like what i got in my bag here it's kind of cool because they all bags are pretty much different you did get three pins right here and then stickers yeah stickers it's like little coloring things got my little tub toys <laughs> i like the is that like the ink that yeah, yeah i like the clear ink but mess-free marker is what it is. And then when my parents end up coming up out here, we can show you what they got because they got a little bit different items as well. Oh, so nice. in theirs, these are, we got the Hulk and Iron Man and they're both dog toys. That's a pretty cool prize. Wow, it's pretty neat. I think everything else is probably like the same where it's just coloring page and things of that nature. All right, that was our trip out to the first ever like a comic 
Pop convention. Funko Pop convention here in Citrus County in Lacanto, Florida. Uh, I think it will throughout the years grow. Yeah. And I think there'll be more people who enjoyed it this year that'll spread the word. Maybe and more people will come together as far as businesses and things like that too. It's only for one day. Maybe next year they'll expand into a couple of days. Um, but was it bad? No, there's a I lot mean, of cool stuff to look at. If you know more about comics and that stuff. And even they were like playing games and stuff in there. I'm, I'm not familiar with I'm not either, but, yeah. Um, they had people playing games and then obviously people who dressed up. So yeah. it was cool. But with that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.